Damn. I always feel so good when I have it. It's definitely my free workout of choice. Had the fruit punch just before this session. That was sick, I just felt good and there we go. I got double front half out. I've tried that a few times before but I was nowhere near landing it. Recently my aerial skills have been getting much better. I think perhaps core capacity and core strength or trunk capacity and trunk strength have really helped my aerial skills mainly because everything's so strong. So in the air I can easily twist and pull my body it's just the benefit of having a strong core. Another skill that I haven't done before is front half back out. You remember last year I only just got my front half, but I want to get it today. I'm feeling pumped. I've got to push myself in stronger to get this. <laughs> I went for it. Yes. That was horrible. <laughs> Let's do it again. Great progress. I feel like I'm so close now to just landing it. Feels very dirty though, so just gonna have to practice, clean it up. But the hardest part of any skill is just doing it for the first time, so I've conquered that at least. I'm gonna start this play a little bit easy. I'll go for a kip L and then I'm gonna try and do a straight arm press handstand. Uh, I always bend my arms slightly, so I'll see if I can lock them out. That'd be awesome, that'd be a new skill. And then maybe a, a planche negative to finish it off. What else can I do? I checked the footage and I... It was hard to see on the small screen, but I do think I saw some elbow bend. Well, yeah. I'm not... You have to know. You know when you're doing it right, so... I'm gonna try this once more, straight arm press the handstand. I don't wanna push myself too hard today, even though it is rings play, just because I've been doing so many max attempts lately. We've got the max cross press attempts, straddle planks as slow as possible, max hold, max multis hold. It's every week, and I'm also now seeing the strength gain, increasing those weights in the gym. You need to not be always going to your 100% failure or you can get injured. I'm gonna maintain those new gains, but I'm not gonna be pushing myself 100% past them just yet. I'll, just to be safe, I felt that little bit of bicep pressure then. Um, I just don't want any injuries, that would set me back so far. So, I'll take it slightly easier today, with easier progressions. Just playing around with some back lever bounces there as well. It's sort of the start of the Azari in that movement. It's nice now that back lever is so easy, I can bounce around feeling the shoulder movement. It's not too intense, but it is really hard, and obviously the higher you go, the harder it is. As you recall from yesterday and that, I'm getting crazy pressure in my wrist from that lean. On the rings, the way I, I twist my hands, I supinate them. So that wrist has no pressure at all because it's a different position. Just had a look at that straddle planche. Pretty happy. It's, I'm not holding it, but I hit the position momentarily. And I obviously fell out, so I'm just gonna try and lean more forward. That's really all I have to do. Seems like the more I lean, uh, the more my the rings wanna come out. So yeah, it's just, this is fun playing around. This is exactly what play is about. Just trying things out and trying to learn as you go. Tyson just made a great point just after that set. I'll let him explain. What I was saying was, Lachlan was saying that it seemed like the more he leaned, the more his arms would have to make way for his body more they'd come out to his side. There's two things you can do in that situation if you want to add more lean. The first one is if you want to lean more, your arms need to move out the way to make way for your body. Ideally, that's not what you want to do. That's more of a Maltese. Second way, which is what you want to do for planche, is not give way to your arms wanting to move out, but keeping that strong and raising up the core. So you obviously need to have a very strong core to do that, and that's how you'll get planche. Not saying that you can even do that now, but that's what you want to aim for. When Tyson said it, it really clicked in my head um, because now I'm going to be super strict. I'm going to try it again because I want to see how I go now. Be super strict. I'm going to, no matter what, I'll keep the arms close, about this close together. And then I'll just try and lean. And I won't let them come out like I have done in those last two sets. 
and we'll see what happens. I might get stuck with like not very much lean, or maybe I'll do a good straddle punch. <laughs> nice. That was much better. That was interesting. Um, it felt way stronger and easier at the start. And then foolishly, I noticed they started separating, so that was cool. That might be the secret to rings planch. Just as simple as it is, don't let the rings move out. That's cool to capture that epiphany. And again, this is the beauty of rings play, or play in general. You just play around with skills you can't do or you're close to, and you'll make these kind of small little epiphanies along the way, which are gonna really help you to get the skill in the future. I warmed up level one and two for Azarian, now I'm doing level three. This isn't a very hard level for me. Today I'm gonna to see how level five feels, and if it feels good, I'll go level six. Even if six feels easy, I won't go heavier, it's just because I don't wanna be trying to progress too quickly. I'm happy with consistent progress at a reasonable rate rather than very quick progress, but leaving myself susceptible to injury. Pretty easy. Main place I feel pressure right now is just this part of my bicep. Easy baby. I guess you could say baby case. Baby case, baby. Level six. You can tell the difficulty by how it's just balancing nicely. Yeah. To put this in perspective, in the first Stronger series, in the tapering period, I did a level 7 Azarian for the first time and it was incredibly hard for me, but it also meant I was very close to full Azarian and you saw just how close I came to getting Azarian. So if I can do level 6 now without even having really specifically trained Azarian yet, I'm pretty impressed at just how much that cross press and cross work and multis and planches is all carrying over into this skill. Baby cat. No, I didn't. Actually, I'm sure I can go more, but that was starting to feel pretty impressively intense in this area, as you'd expect. That's going to be it for today for my rings play. Next week, I might push it to level seven. Again, I don't want to push it too quick just because I don't want to injure myself. So I am very happy with this consistent progress rather than trying to go crazy and injuring myself. Now I'm going to move on to upper limb strength. We showed you it earlier in the week, so we won't be filming it tonight. I've then also got trunk strength. I've also got cuff capacity and V-sit. It's going to be a long night, but that's what you got to do. And I'm more than happy to do it considering these gains I'm seeing already. What a workout. That was awesome. I really enjoyed the tramp at the start there. The C4, man, I love it. Just then, unfortunately we didn't film it, but upper limb strength was sick. I'm definitely the strongest I've ever been, which is such an exciting place to be. You can also hear the vacuum, guys. We're, we're here quite late, but it's awesome. We had an enormous session. It's about 10, 10.30 now. Bit, of, bit irrelevant, I don't know I'm telling you that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited about these strength levels. I feel so strong. That's obviously the main goal of this series, and so it's really exciting to already, only in week five of this program, to be feeling just like, like I am. Yeah, he's looking so much stronger in what he's doing. I'm a little bit, I mean, jealous, but not in a bad way. Like, as in, I wish I was doing that. I wish I didn't get injured and I was doing that too. Uh, the one thing I'd say is just I watch it and because I got injured I watch it and I go I hope you're not pushing yourself that little bit too far because I really don't want you to get injured as well. The strength gains so far have been amazing. You just got to listen to your body, that's the key, key thing. So no matter how good you're feeling and how pumped up you are, if you feel any little weird things to listen and 
hold back. Another surprising awesome benefit is, you remember I've been talking about the left shoulder little things here, movements here and there that are slightly uncomfortable. It's been getting more and more comfortable. I think it's thanks to like the dumbbell weights, it's at the weight where I can handle it, so it's just strengthening it up. So then when I come to the rings, it's just stronger, so it's awesome. I'm, not only am I getting stronger, but I'm getting more bulletproof all around. Things are getting really exciting now. Now we're getting into those weeks where the gains from this new program that we started five weeks ago are gonna, you're gonna start to see them. So this is when it starts to get really exciting. Now to add to the excitement, week six is our last week in Australia. Boom. We're going to Jamaica. <laughs> the start of week seven, we'll be flying to the United States of America, baby. Oh, I am keen. It's gonna be so hectic. It's funny because I'm so comfortable and really enjoying our schedule, but when we go to the US, it's all going to change obviously we're in a completely foreign land where we're going to need to make new connections and everything so it's kind of scary in a way because i know right here i've got such a great training setup but i also think um, again going out of our comfort zone into a new country to train i actually think we're going to find better facilities like easier access things like that so it's going to be great we're going to i'm not going to accept anything else but better training yeah you can't train here <laughs> but you need to leave. No! <laughs> this is how you solve problems. <laughs> nope, I'm not going. <laughs> Get excited for next week, guys. Our last week in Australia. I really love this new program. It's so different to anything I've ever done before. But, And I would have originally thought this is too much. You know, too many different strength sessions in one day and all that. But it's working so well. So I cannot wait for next week. Thank you so much for watching guys. We really, really do appreciate you watching your comments, all that kind of thing. It, it, it's really uh, satisfying and... Um, That's the best part of making this. It's really rewarding, honestly. So thank you so much. We really do appreciate you guys. And we'll really look forward to seeing you guys next week in week six. <laughs>